We have Katie Mirren today. She is Director for SEO and Web Content Strategy at Southern New Hampshire University. SNU is a private nonprofit accredited institution with more than 3,000 on-campus students. Maybe not today during COVID, but that's <clears throat> the usual on-campus headcount and over 80,000 students online, and I bet that's gone up. Yeah, I think it has. <laughs> yep, yep. The Southern New Hampshire University is one of the fastest growing universities in the country and a leader in the space. So really grateful to have you here, Katie, and to hear about your experience with your family and your career inside of COVID and extending that conversation, not just looking for the, as you and I were talking in prep, the silver linings, as you, yeah. as you said, um, but also looking for how can we cultivate resiliency? Certainly that muscle, you're someone I know who I know has that in spades and you're very adaptable and how did you get to be that way and how people can cultivate that? So a lot of different things to talk about today. Yeah. Um, so what are you seeing in your experiences with COVID-19? How, what are those silver linings that, that you're seeing? I, I, for me, I think I was one of the people who early on was like really afraid of it. Um, mm -hmm. Some people were like, oh, it's just a flu. It's going to be okay. But I think right away I started to, to panic. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I think in our space, there was, you know, a couple of weeks where I think the whole country was panicking, the whole world was panicking. Um, and so it was a little scary to see like, are we going to bounce back from this? Are people still going to um, be pursuing education during this time? Um, or are they going to take a break? And um, I think I was really happy with um, the university's leadership with they just started over communicating with us. Like every question we had, it was like, submit your questions, we're going to answer. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was like regular video calls. And, and I think when I felt all that anxiety of like, am I going to still have a job? Is, you know, is the university going to be okay? Um, they really stepped up the communication. So I feel more secure, I think, in my job now that I know that they'll do everything they can to make sure that they're protecting students and protecting employees and like I wouldn't have got to see that push come to shove if something like this hadn't happened. So we could really see how they would react. Mm. Um, and then I think just seeing my husband's situation, um, alternatively, like I just feel like they just didn't know what to do. He's at a law firm and um, he got furloughed like right away. And then it was kind of like, we're not sure if we can bring people back or not. And it was mm. just, um, I just felt like, so fast they were just like we're gonna have to let everyone go um so there was a big compare contrast yeah yep yep so i just felt really grateful that we i knew that the university was doing everything they could to make sure that we you know we were trying to make sure we kept jobs and kept students moving yeah i get what you're saying you quickly they quickly built trust Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't have had this level of trust with your, with the university, with your employer, with the teams, without the situation. Yeah. Yep. That's that's great. And I'm sorry about your. Uh, everybody's <laughs> doing their best. I know everyone's doing their best, <clears throat> and I certainly don't want to be judged by my worst moments. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I hear that. Well, great. Good on you, Southern New Hampshire University, for protecting the teams and the students and over communicating. That's wonderful. 